All right, I want to go uh, over a few people that we all have been entertained by at some point or another who are all currently incarcerated. Oh. Uh, we're going to start off with Beezy from Santana Block. We learned, I've learned through you, Spider, that Beezy caught a case somewhere at a state and now he is currently fighting a serious one. What can you share with what you know about that situation? Keep it a Google facts will finish. The fact that it may or may not have been out of state is news to me. But I am under the factual information that no, I was on, I'm almost under the impression he got extradited back out here. But okay. go ahead. But I, I shortly I mean or shortly or whatever, after he became popular, having a viral moment with the homie Munchie over some simple game bang rhetoric, voice con that was a big scene. Some dumb vocabulary. Yeah, vocabulary shit. We politicked it, they they mediated whatever. B, Munchie was consistently popular on the internet, but that kind of helped Beezy establish himself as somebody to talk about. Shortly thereafter, the next time I heard about him, he had a family um, function, miscommunication, okay. violence. Family I, feud? Family feud. Nobody wins in the family feuds. It was either his sibling or his cousin, a male, that had a physical altercation, and allegedly, Beezy took the short end of the physical altercation. I believe he was allegedly kicked in the face, and they allegedly say that he's charged now for after being kicked in the face, responding with gunfire to his family member, a cousin or a brother. I'm not sure if it's an attempt or a 187, but allegedly he is now incarcerated for either a murder or attempted murder on a family member that he had a physical altercation with that a Allegedly had the got the best of him and treated him kind of disrespectful while he was down. I heard that he may have gotten up, can't confirm it, and did something violent to one of his family members in the midst of that type of community. All that is alleged. I believe it, but it's, it's attempted uh, in the life and then and then free him. Yo, I exactly. would like to I would like to tap in with anybody who knows BZ. Please, um, anyone from Santana Block or anyone that's related PK, to Kiko, any of y'all, let me know what's happening. BZ to uh, tap in with us and give us an update on BZ's current situation. Uh, we also got word of a brother from the PJ Watts that was just a, a guest. <laughs> on Facts Over Feelings, and he, he just did an interview with me that we haven't even dropped yet, but Soldier from PJ Watts, hey, water. he got caught up and in allegedly involved in some sort of trafficking situation between here and Ohio, I believe that was. The deepest part about it all, as he left here, he told me he was on his way out of town, he gonna get at me when he get back. We had a perspective project we was going to try to embark upon he sent me a picture of himself the next day aboard the plane and my response because i was on my way the next day to colorado i said i'm gonna match this picture tomorrow he like for sure so he sent me a picture of him boarding the plane i told him to see you the similar picture the next day i sent him the picture the next day and got no response the next day no response so i spent about four days out of town i forgot about soldier no response from him he was a he wasn't in my mind but next thing I know, I get a DM from, I'm checking my DM, and it's a female who I met right here in the studio because when me and Soldier was doing our, 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 our motherfucking interview right before we did it, he like, oh yeah, my baby mom for one I know. He showed me her, and she got the infant, that small baby in his arms. She chunk up to eat, that's the homegirl. Oh, what's up, woo woo. So what I want to tell you is shortly after he did the interview, that female popped up in my DM telling me, the homie was incarcerated. I'm like, huh? I just saw him two days ago, did the interview. She's like, yeah. And she sent me a, a link to an article where apparently, allegedly, he's accused of traveling out of state on an airplane. And the way the article read, he landed out of state and he was by himself. But they alleged that while he was at baggage claim, he grabbed his bag. A female grabbed another bag that get baggage claim. They hadn't spoke to each other throughout the whole flight, but apparently, according to the authorities, once they both grabbed their bags, they spoke to one another like they were friends. They swooped down on them, and according to the authorities, they found some contraband in her motherfucking luggage. Okay. And, yeah. I, I was going to just uh, read this article that's out of Springfield, Missouri. Mm -hmm. The title of it is Two from California Charged in Springfield Airport Drug Bus. Two people have been charged in federal court after authorities say they flew from Los Angeles 
to Springfield with over 20 pounds of meth in a suitcase. According to court documents from the U.S. Western District of Missouri, not Ohio, 37-year-old Dewan Tyrone Parker and 30-year-old Treasure LaShawn White are charged with conspiracy to distribute 500 grams or more of a mixture of substance containing detectable amounts of methamphetamine. Oh, that's a legend, man. Free and, that man. And, free to low. And I got an incredible interview that I did with, with Soldier that hasn't dropped, but we all threw the Imperial Courts from all the different sides. And uh, how shortly before he was arrested did you do this? Probably a couple days. Yeah, a couple days. Uh, you know, when you he sent was here, y'all did that. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's so uh, that's another brother that uh, is currently incarcerated. Man, yeah, free him. And then free him. We, we recently learned that Crip Matt took a deal, but we're not sure what that deal is. But he's definitely on his way to the feds. So they said, what, 10, between 10 or 15? So they know clarity with that? I have no idea. It could be anywhere from 5 to 10 to 12. Free crib, man. Okay, okay. It's deep. But it, it appears that he is taking a deal on that on that Fuck gun situation. Yeah. Let me ask you something. I heard it was a ghost gun, then I heard a switch. Which one was he? Don't even know. Me either. I've heard both, too. Don't even okay, know. Okay, okay. So, um... He's going to be gone for a minute. I want to ask the question. I think this is a topic you talked about before, Spider, or been uh, presented with this question. Is his career over? I don't know. Was that you, Munch? Is his career over if he has it was to both of us? Okay. It. If he has to do at least five years, can he come back and still be a sensation online? Who first? Uh, okay, okay. Go ahead, Munch. They said 15, the original question, right? Five years? I don't know, but like, I got to. Ever people look, 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 things change, like you know what I'm saying. And 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 what I said before, and people took it as disrespect. I said he don't have a talent. He's a, as a as a gimmick. And then we we got the exact definition of the word gimmick. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no disrespect towards him. Now and and then I got examples of the ooh kill him, ooh kill him, or the little it's the pimp pimp Pete. You know what I'm saying? And we don't hear about him no more. Okay, but he he got a little bit more magnitude than them two for sure. So five years, uh, but but the original question was fifteen. Yeah, uh, fifteen is is nobody can come back from fifteen. Okay, years. okay. Whether you're a musician, uh, uh, a rapper. Oh, do I get a chance to answer? Hold, hold, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done yet though. So I gave. Okay, we got G. Depp. That that he it was a, a murder that took place in '94. He turned himself in 2000, whatever, and then he got out 13 years later. He can't put out. Ain't nobody listening to him. Yeah, it's a rap for G. Dub. It, 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 it's a, it, it's it's a rap. Five years. It was that was the original thing. Maybe because Shine what did nine in some months. If he wasn't deported, maybe Shine would have still had a career. But he's not Shine. Shine had a talent, and that's the difference. So it wasn't no disrespect towards Crit Mac because he's from where he's from, and I'm from where I'm where I'm from. So I would I would like for people to to to. Separate the the, the podcast and Munchie from the game bang Munchie, bro. Like I'm not gonna put two or two with, with anything, because if I I give my exact opinion on on Draco. No, I think it's a legitimate opinion. I think it, it's a legitimate, and I don't I don't take a I don't see why people would take offense to calling him a gimmick, uh, unless you're probably either his children <laughs> or his I, wife. I understand. But go ahead, Spider. Gimmick has a without being a little negative connotation exactly yeah because i even took it wrong before we broke it down and we did like the definition then i understood better so the average person from our environment gimmick sounds like a joke or fake weak not real those words all go together so before you get really abreast on what a gimmick is and the way munchy he didn't try but somebody challenged him and on our podcast that we looked up the definition and it kind of justified his position. But before you get that education on the word gimmick, it sounds like you clouded him. It just that's simple. But can can he come back and revive his F online persona in five years? It's not about reviving, it's about the people that are interested in him now, that he robbed of the pleasure. Whatever appeal he had right now, he's in prison. Okay, that audience is robbed of his pleasure. 15 years from now, those same people will say, huh, who's back? Oh, it's not about what he's doing at that point. Hey, he was going up with China Mac. They, that, that was 
his period with China Mac, however long it lasted, I don't know, six months, that was probably the most successful period in Crip Mac's career you know online. Deep. You know what's deep? We've been accused or we've been understanding that. What was we? Us as blacks. The Chinaman is always for the last thirty years come in, so we had to offer. We'll it. figure it out. The Chinaman's yes. gonna figure it out. <laughs> I, I saw today somebody told me y'all need to watch out because guess what it was? They said Africans be careful. It's a rap. It was a Chinaman in Africa doing the fucking church shit, saying he was like touching people on the head. It was all black church. It was a Chinaman making them fall out and saying, 15 euro, thirty euro." Give me quick now, now. And today, with the blacks was coming up, and this Chinese man who you could tell he was new to it was touching these niggas on the head and pushing them. They weren't even falling out. They had people catching them. I'm gonna show it to y'all. Well, look, look. Hey, hey listen. Look, whether look. Whether, whether China Mac was benefiting or not, he's the best thing that ever happened to Crip Mac, bro. And he, 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 he flourished during the time dealing with uh, China Mac, uh, Juski, and all that. Like, you know they, 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 they would equate that to you saying. No, 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 before that. I gave you a life sentence. He, he, he was took, he was taken advantage of but before that. I put that. you in prison, you lived for 30 years. If I left you on the street, you would have died in prison. Nah, two. nah, that's too, much, that's too deep. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm just saying like, when he started dealing with Crip Mac, he flourished and he did the best He's ripping runways with better clothes. He's doing with Joski, uh, Mac Adventures. Just Doug's like, had him fly on that runway. You ain't lying. But how many people had an opportunity to blow up with Crip Mac and somehow fumbled the bag every Plenty. single time? Plenty. So it's not like the Chinaman just came in there and did his thing. First person didn't really do it. The second person that, didn't do it. Thing, you could say the, the third same person thing about did. all our moms and pops liquor stores and mini marts in our neighborhoods. How many black people could have did it? But now the China man's in here, and we're not being exploited because we're giving our money to the China man. Can I ask y'all an honest question? Yeah, but you wait, wait. You literally had at least four people work with Crip Mac and didn't do what one Chinaman did. And I don't even want to call him a Chinaman. China um, Mac. China Mac. Right. You had China literally Mac. Chinaman. You you literally had at least four people. No, it's not really debatable on this spectrum. I don't want to debate you on China Max uh, relevance to Crip Max success. I agree, but it's it's isn't it ironic that an outsider from New York, not even grew up here in L.A., it's not as ironic as much as it's part of the way we see things go. Yeah, but some times is a China man right. come into our environment and benefit off our raw uh, resources. Look, 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 okay, but hot. Yeah, it happens everywhere. Hold, hold on, on, but his own people. I don't know who will, will let uh, what's her name Sonya, what, what, uh, Lupe. Well, who will let Lupe? Okay, uh, uh, you, you got you got ODM Slim. I was trying not okay, to throw okay, anybody okay. under the you, bus. You got six hundred. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You got Lupe six hundred and ODM Slim, and then you have this dude in prison, CME. Okay. You have all these people taking advantage of him. That's his kind. They all cribs. They all came from the same background he came from. But you got this dude from East Coast that came and made a difference with him. Could you get this dude some credit? Because 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 everybody else took from him. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna give China Mac some credit. No, no, even, even I, though I've I've never not China Max involvement in Crip Max situation. I applauded it. Always and, and people were saying China Mac was exploiting C Mac. Look how many views he's getting, look how much money he's getting. But right now, China Mac is doing his own thing, traveling the world, yes. creating just as much numbers. Yeah, doing the same numbers. And what you have to understand by himself. <laughs> even when it comes to philanthropy, which is considered a uh, goodwill, giving from your heart. When you establish yourself as a philanthropist, you're allowed 30 to 40% of what you accumulate for operating costs. So even if I'm saying, I'm gonna dedicate my whole life to get as much money as I can to bless the less fortunate, by the best moral judgment that our, our country has to offer, you're only allowed to disperse 70 to 60% of what you accumulate. The rest is allowed to you to make sure you can do it again. That's the way it's set up. So, man, we don't know they, you know some personal uh, finances or something? Because that's what this sounds, I, I, we don't know that. Me and, me, and, me and Alex don't know. This is what I do know. And I, not outside of my own campaign, without me telling you what I, I perceive of your campaign, mm -hmm. you have an experience and a status to where I could tap you right in. Don't trip, we gonna get to it. I know the people, don't trip.
Just take me with you. I'm scared to turn you on some shit. You're going to leave me out, bro. Because you got a ticket that I don't got. I don't know if you realize it. You can go everywhere you want to go right now. My memory long. I don't forget about nobody. I don't know what you I got you. About. All right. I'm going to turn you on some shit, bro. Because you really, you can paint your own motherfucking path from this point forward. No, no, no but I, I, I was just, I told I was you, just saying Stevie that. Stevie Wonder, you Ray Charles. I, 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 and you look at that. You afflicted like they're afflicted. And I'm telling you, you possess the same potential for greatness that they have, bro. My, my, my. No, I was just saying, I don't I don't agree with all this shade on China Mac. That's all I'm saying. Though. Me either. I agree with you. Okay. Um, and I know that we have been appropriated by other cultures, and he might be. But China Mac, I think he has a pure intention. Okay. And there's one more guy that um, is incarcerated. But uh, real quickly, um, you know, my family's from Puerto Rico. So whenever I go out there, I always make sure I hit some restaurants, get some real authentic Puerto Rican food. But it's crazy that some of these these um, vendors that make all the Puerto Rican food, you go up to it and, and you, you're there to get what you want to get, and there's Chinese people in there cooking it. I'm like, wow, these Chinese people are making Puerto Rican food better than the Puerto Ricans are. And, and that's just my experience on, on a small island that my family's from. Hey, but, but, but you notice out here, you, 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 got, you got Chinese people at Louisiana Chicken. You got, yes. black, you got black people at Chinese food places. Like, it, it, it's, it's like that. But you know wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. You got what kind of people at Chinese food places? Black? Where? I could draw you there. As soon as we leave, I want to go. But the reality is the Chinese diaspora is probably the largest diaspora on earth. They're in almost every single country doing business. They're in South America. They're in Africa. They're in Europe. They're in the Caribbean. That is one influential yeah, diaspora. So that what? You cannot so, deny. So, so what? Be mad at them because they're taking advantage of, of an opportunity. Hey, they got a hustle oh. and a grind like no other nation Just on be earth. Be aware they took they've taken colonization to the next level. They're the new colonizer of the universe. Absolutely. Hey, look, Absolutely. I'm gonna equate this to this, bro. For every street person. All the pimps in the world, you want a snow bunny. You want a white broad. <laughs> so, well, what you what you call that? Is that is that the same thing? Is, is culture culture because you want to put down a white broad, then you'll get more 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 buck for your. You know what I'm saying? Is it so, think or is it a tribe market where you realize this does better? No, no, no. It's a fact. So why would it, it be? It's a fact. You got a white broad. They go pay more for for a snow bunny. So why would you judge a person that's putting her down's intentions? All you got to know is they know that as a fact. No, 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 no. Come again? The person that's putting her down, why we just assume that they are aware that that's the best? No, product? no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Bro, they, okay, you got to add them. Mm -hmm. If you go cover hip hop in this culture, of course you got to have black people, right? So now, or he's a culture vulture. But then you got black niggas that put some, 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 some white bitches down. But, but that's not their culture. It ain't nobody culture. They like just pimping. But I'm saying like, we, we we got a white broad down. We're going to get more money for it, so we're going to put a white broad down. You, you know what I'm saying? You realize culture vultures does not come from the idea that a white person that's not from our culture is interested in what we got going on. That doesn't make you a culture vulture. What makes you a culture vulture? Okay, a, the fact that they call it a vulture is because a vulture is one that will watch Alex and Munchie B kill the an animal. And before y'all can separate, can I finish, please, before you say something? Before y'all can decide how y'all going to separate this animal that y'all killed, a vulture will come in and take it from the both of y'all, and none of y'all get to eat none of it. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's the literal yeah. the literal that's why, sense. But and, that's and, where and the, the term comes from. And habit, yeah, that's where it comes from, but nowadays it, 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 it's different. Like oh, okay. what, what, what? What's his name? Uh, Dem, Dame Dash go out of how you say his name? Lyon? Lyon Corn. Yeah, he go at him, but I mean... I mean, it's rap. based on what I just said. So, so what about the rappers that cross over the pop? Wait, 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 wait. Before, or country, wait, like before, like Nelly did. Before you introduce new terms, let's compare Leor Corn and Dame Dash to what I just said. No, that's the habitat thing, bro. And you know, meanings change at some point. All right, y'all go on a way you off gave topic. Give an example here. that agrees. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back but, on track. But um, I wanted to mention one more guy that we all watch. That's incarcerated. I just wanted to emphasize Sp um, Spider's point about the Chinese uh, presence in you know many facets of our world. I was just saying like 
I'm I'm shocked and surprised at how many Chinese people have ran through the island of Puerto Rico and is doing business. They're taking over the prosperity yeah. gospel yeah. preaching in Africa. And it looks so I wanna show you a clip. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, finish. But no, um, yeah, they they've all they've also financed all of the infrastructure of Africa with roads and, and things of that. So